Alright, welcome, welcome everybody. Back to Yoshi Save Summer Vacation by Committing Tax Fraud by Elka Furman. Hope I'm saying that game right. In case we haven't talked about the description again since, let's go through it. Let's welcome to the last part. The description is In this hack, Yoshi and his friends from Mushroom Kingdom have plans to go to Puerto Vallarta for the summer 2023 season. But Walmart, also known as actually Wart, decided to ruin their vacation. Yoshi needs to save the season before it was too late and travel to Poida Vallarta. It's been a wonderful hack. Thank you, Elka Furman, for this hack. Thank you for your time. Never stated enough. I'm sure you got plenty of enjoyment out of this, but it has given me a good amount of joy. This is this has been solid. Even your animations, I haven't commented on enough, have been solid for I don't know why my jump felt like it had less work there. If you're talking about how smooth this game is, I don't know what that was about. Something went on. I feel like we've barely been the baby Yoshi. Yeah, I think there's that one thing you can clean up with, uh... The... Oh my god. There was, like, a... Uh... Second I start, like, actually praising the game. Having issues. I don't think there are issues with the game. I think it's issues with Mario Maker itself. There's like a little more make cheese. Look what we've come to. Oh, that's what stopped me. The fan. Okay, it felt like something was stuck. Okay, so that's just that. Screwing with my jump a little bit. That's fun. That's fun. I didn't know what was happening, and now I do. I assume those were background. So I can't remember if they are actually foreground or present ground, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, in the games they take place in, again, probably looking more at, um, the All-Stars slash Mario World cart. By the way, never seen that cartridge in person. I sometimes wonder how common it was. I feel like that was a pack-in in some of the very late Super Nintendo consoles. Um, don't quote me. Would love to know that fact, though. I love fun facts. I, I tend to know a lot of them, just... Because I tend to watch that kind of stuff before I go to sleep, just because I, I like history in general. But I obviously love gaming history because I'm a big part of it. It's a big part of my life. So. Yeah, I, I found um, an affection for history in general. So, my minor. Um, theater is the major, and I even love the history behind that. I'm finding more fascination with being on the train of everybody else, where like, Shakespeare's not fun to do, and coming around to being like... You know, iambic pentameter, really, when you get down to it, makes for a lot of, um... Massive words here, apparently. Malleability. Uh, just basically diversity... <laughs> I need more big words. I just... Sorry. Just, like, the ability to, um... Really stretch, um, your own performance into a ton of different things. It's basically all that's meaning in this context, but... Oh, jeez. I tend to know a lot of big words, and I'm kind of that opinion that if you you know the big words well enough, they kind of just come seamlessly um, to be your perfect um, word for what you're trying to say. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've found that. I've had comments on it before. Like, yeah, you use a lot of big words. I'm just, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I know words. It's kind of my occupation, in a way, to know these things, and... It just it kind of flows fluently into my life at this point. Case in point. Dude, why are you mock speed? Why are you... Why are you the way that you are? Dude. Okay. I don't know. Oh, right. Ground pound. That has thrown me off a couple times. Okay, dude. Oh my god. Sometimes I don't want to hit the ground pound. It happens, so... Oh my god. Okay, please. I, I cannot read this guy's movement. It's a little, a little, I don't know if it's sped up. It's, a, it's something, for sure. Alright. That's, is that it? I just made, like, nothing out of the end. That's not it. Okay, good. Right, I forgot, like, we entered a regular-looking level on the world map before. This beauty. Wow. Already. Drives me nuts, I can't place these. Please let me know the song. I'll have my... 
It's still Mario. I'm pretty sure it's just like New Super Mario Bros. music or something. Right? There's castles there. I'm, it's, I'm gonna sound so silly. And I'll sound silly to myself, don't you worry. But this just happens in the Mario hack specifically. What a good rendition, though. Yeah, because I don't think the dev is strayed a lot from uh, Mario music remixes and what have you, but it's it's still Mario music. Wait, where was that? There, was there. Okay, there's only a couple times I've like thought and assumed the fireballs are off to the side, had my weird short-term memory short out, and uh, forget that it was like under the bridge. That I'm pretty sure that's how I've taken a couple of my hits. All right. Yikes! There we go. Yeah, he's throwing bones. Make no bones about it. He's throwing them. He's throwing down. He's throwing up, even. Poor bastard. Had a... Uh, you know, we're not going... I mean, I swore in this, but I'm still, like, trying to censor myself. It's, it's, it's weird. It is what it is. Be kind, rewind, world. Really, all the, the censoring comes down to is... <laughs> in the world is... I was just trying to have this, uh, persona of, you know, good, when we can still be that with different words that are sounds. But respect the context. That's, that's what I mean. If you're in context that, you know, you're trying to respect other people, you know, you just, you kind of go by that. That's kind of where we come from with that. Except when it comes to Walmart, apparently. Then Walmart gets, you know, the... A little more infrequent squares, I guess. I think we've done pretty good in this series. Again, most of you probably don't care, but I care for my other reasons. Um, that are mine. Um, kind of what I said. Just respecting context of whatever who might be around and not caring for it as much. Not a ton of them left, but... Yeah, um, I guess to go into it a little bit. I remember when I was first doing the YouTube thing, like, I guess, quote-unquote, seriously... Ten years ago, by the way, actually never had a ten-year anniversary. We're a little over it now. Actually, a handful of months over it, so half a ten-year anniversary of me and I've been around that whole time. Man, thank you. It's It's been a fun run. Really, um, intermittent and randomly a thing. Like those Goombas nuking themselves. Um, in the lot. I guess I jumped on there for too long. Probably just went too far. It's been a fun run, I, intermittently, uh, I just mean by that, like, lots of hiatuses, life happens, and that should be allowed to happen, in my opinion. I always give major credit to people that, uh, like, do this full-time. Like, um, I think a lot of people obviously, like, get to their head, or don't learn certain life skills, is my opinion of what I've witnessed. I think I really would have been one of those, had I been... I guess, like, successful at it. I I feel like there's things in life I would not have learned had I just, like, say, really rolled with the YouTube thing and had a lot of success or whatever. Um, but no, like, no, generally, like, the amount of work that needs to be put in now to, like, do this kind of thing full-time is, is insane. You need to, like, stay relevant and stuff. You need to be doing what's popular, you need to be, like, beyond full-time. So, yeah, I got nothing but respect for it. I just... I still believe people need to respect themselves and others within that sphere, I guess. I do see a lot of uppity behavior as well. Ooh, we get this color scheme again. Not the masks! Masky! This looks like the candy. Oh, hi! Huh? Oh, hi, Bubbles. Oh, no. Oh, okay, so we need the biggins. Yeah, the biggins. Oh, wart! Wart! Walmart! Walmart's a frog now, folks. Those don't know me that well. Frogs in video games are always evil. Screw frogs in video games. Particular Pikmin is coming to mind. Dude, I don't know what this business is. It's a Mario World thing again, but, like, re-catching... Something that's like, I'm just trying to hold the run button here. I have to, like, let it go for a prolonged period of time, or, like, 
Mario, whatever, Yoshi in this case, wants to like re-hold it. Damn it. I don't know where our halfway point was. That's fine. That's fine. What did I just see there? Did that just like uber cut transition really quick? Did I hit a fast form? I did. This tab's fast form. Pretty sure we gotta do the whole castle again, so let's really try and focus on this. I haven't really had to, but I really appreciate this game's difficulty just for being a nice, fun John. I don't think there's a lot of that. I think I'm kind of in the minority of it for enjoying just the, the nice, easy, kind of fun Mario stuff. Again, this isn't even necessarily easy, like... I underrate my own platforming skills a lot of the time, especially like the ability to kind of like talk. Damn it! If this almost is background, I just do pretty well at just a little bit of autopilot game. There is something weird there. That transition is just like, has like a little seizure in the level. Should be a little smoother. I don't know what's with that. The rest of the game is like that. It's like the, the world map and the player one start. Dude. It's it's the Let's Play curse. Man, that's been forever since that's been talking. But like I talk about like yeah, pretty decent at the game, start doing stupid things, but No, I feel like it's it's for my skill level, I guess, it's been pretty easy. And I love that. Again, I'm the same guy they released a new Super Mario Bros. game. I can probably max out the light counter, you know? Like I am not bad. Despite what the last few attempts of this have been. Okay, I can do all right. I want to get past this. I don't want to wait for that. Some things I've been doing like that that aren't necessarily good there, but... And here? Okay, those guys don't actually... You have to, like, hit the top one to... Like, I feel like it's almost a modification on the, um... What do you... What do you call the dang thing? The pokey? The pokey. Okay. That's actually not that far. That wasn't a halfway point, was it? Were these levels just very short? That felt short. But I think I'm getting a halfway point. It's all by my short-term memory. So you'll have to let me know. Okay. I haven't loved this. Okay, he's clearly only vulnerable at a certain point. Oh, okay. Right, we're gonna focus up. Yeah, I don't think he's... If he's, like, inhaling or regurgitating his food or whatever the hell, he's not able to be hit. It's like... I gotta stop trying to do that. Just giving him freebies here, man. Absolutely giving him freebies. I'm very confused about this hit detection. Okay, let's watch him for a bit. Okay, well, no freebie hits. Almost just gave him the final one there, too, from the same damn spit attack. Okay, I don't know. I don't see, like, any animation difference. I just don't think things are landing. Okay. Like, we've clearly hit him before. Ah! God. No, oh, stop. I'm we'll wondering if we can get underneath him and do the up chuck and do his, uh... And yes, we do do cuts around here. I just, uh, haven't had a lot of reason to. I, I don't like to necessarily show the same thing twice, quote-unquote, but typically how I signal to myself is, uh, you know, if I'm not talking, cut there. Uh, and usually we'll do that on re-attempts, but obviously we just continue to have things to say on previous re-attempts, so... Yeah, I'm really confused by this boss fight. Yeah, I can't go underneath him. And I'm really bad at predicting. Like, I, I think I have a way to, like, give myself a line on it in between those. Probably a little better on the ones that are going a little less far as well. It's like the diagonal's throwing me off. Okay, I got one. It's gonna do another spit. I don't know if this is working. What is happening? I don't, I've never seen this one even land, so... I think I'm dropping it, technically. Like, there's a throw and there's a drop. And I'm kind of letting go of the controller 
entirely to throw it. That time I held right. And it still looked like the same animation. Okay. You, okay, maybe it's during his... No. I can't get any consistency from this. I'm really bad at diagonals. Really bad at diagonals. Ah, oh, screw you, Walmart. A couple things I do want to point out, because uh, I've actually died a few times, surprise, surprise. Um, I am not an amazing person, but at this game. That I noticed along the way. There's a couple jumps like that, where you're able to... The, the devs clearly notice, or it's accidental, but you're able to basically bounce from one dry bones to the next. Almost like speedrunning is encouraged. That's excellent foresight on people going through these fast. Those are great design choices, and that is a freaking little thing. Nice thing to see. This! Haven't liked this because... It's not super friendly to, like, double-triple jumping, as we've seen. I know it's not intended to stay on those, but the fireball doesn't necessarily time out. Like, they're so damn inconsistent that they don't time out with, um... Not dying. Anyways. I guess we're not cutting back, because we're pretty much here with less to show for it, but... Alright, let's do it. Let's try and figure out what is going on with this. I'm just gonna grab these, and then the strat's gonna be high up. Drop down in front of his face, try and throw it out. Hide up here. Okay. The other thing I haven't thought of is hitting him in a certain spot, maybe? So that was head, like crown. Try his toesies. Damn it. Oh my god, I'm giving him free hits. I don't understand this. I, this has been fantastic, but this boss, like, doesn't want to work. I have to be doing it while he's a spitty guy, I think. Let's wait for the spitty guy sequence. Ready? Ready? Up chuck, up chuck, up chuck. I know. Okay, let's see here. He's doing that. Let's get, like, right down on this thing. Belly doesn't work either. That got I don't know why that got I think there's like a freeze before he spits up. I don't know why he did a different animation sequence there. Right there, freeze, and nope. Oh, got him. I I don't know why. What timing was that even? I, hmm. I think it's like right before he spits up. Da, 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 da. Waiting. Da, 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 waiting, go. Got him. Got him again. Oh, three's not enough, though. Three's not enough. Confirm. Got him. Not enough. Still not enough. I think it's five. Jeez. Does seem to be need to be while well, he's like spitting. I don't know. I didn't really find a consistency with that. I did honestly start safe stating it on my keyboard. Because uh, I couldn't make left or right of this. Um, even with safe state spinning here about 10 minutes straight, it feels like. That was kind of rough. The end. Alright, let's see if we get an actual... Man, that was otherwise a wonderful hack. Super secret area. Thank you for playing my game. I hope you'll have a great summer vacation 2023. And stay safe as well. Well, actually, yeah, I mean, it was good. There, there was forest fires where I was living the day after I moved. Um, Western Canada, man, lately. But yeah, it was a pretty good summer. Thank you, thank you for the game. This has been wonderful. What is it again? Elk of Furman. Elk of Furman. 
you. Uh, yeah, it's been it's it's been good. It was it was good. I a lot of things worked really well. The animations were fluent. I feel like everything other like that last level was a bit of a letdown. Wish that boss. I really tried to find a consistency that maybe I just wasn't seeing. To be fair, but there wasn't a lot of feedback. If it's like. I don't know if this is possible within the editors itself, but if there's a time that he needs to specifically be hit, it's nice to see the feedback of his reaction to being hit. Obviously, that does exist. But when it's not working, it's like the, the vegetables are just flying through him, and it doesn't give the player any indication of correct play. If it was to, like... If he used to have some sort of animation that's kind of like, mwahaha, you can't hit me, or it's able to, like, hit him and bounce off. I think that would tell the player more, like, to learn that it needs to be a specific timing. Because I think it's supposed to hit after or during the bubbles. You see, the thing is, I still don't know, and I spent the better part of 10, 15, 20 total minutes in that fight, and I don't know the answer. I don't think that's just me. That's that's a little problem there. Here's the thing. We tend to focus on the negatives. And that is recency bias, but uh, otherwise, awesome hack. Good renditions of re remade music for the Super Nintendo. Always love to see that. Love the locale, the aesthetic, each theme. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, Yoshi playing as Yoshi, having the power ups affect him. The animations behind Yoshi, the added abilities like ground pound, whatever, made for a very easy game. I think those um, power ups are. Very unnecessary for the experienced player, but are going to go a long way for a player that might like using them. But I am, that said, I'm very happy they're in the game, because it's cool to see. It's cool to see animations thought out for it. There wasn't really any animation blips other than, like, entering that last level again that I can think of. Um, where feedback's a little different. There was that part I mentioned that you're probably thinking I was a bit on you, but there is a tendency for the game itself like Mario World itself, to like have a bit of a... Like when you power up, the game has a bit of a pause. So that wasn't actually anything on you. That's how Mario World is. There's nothing you could do about that. So I never vetoed that earlier, I realized, because my brain just goes all over the place. But that uh, yeah, was a good time. Anybody looking to check this out? Uh, this is Yoshi Safe Summer Vacation on SMW Central. You will need to get a... Hmm. I would rather leave it to you to find out from the site how their things work, but it shouldn't be too hard to pull off playing these games. We'll put it at that, alright? But anyways, everybody, thank you. It's been a nice little comeback here. Hopefully it'll do a little more of something. Um, it really depends on life. Uh, life's affording me way too much free time at the moment, and I'd like to feel productive in a way and share that a bit so that's how we're doing it so anyways, cheers everybody take care and have a good one have a good fall and a little summer